Sabrina finally ends with <laughs> Hey horror freaks, first of all, happy new year Yes, 2021 and I am super excited So if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon So that you can get a notification every single time that I post a video I post every single Friday so today so today is the first friday of the year and i thought that the first video should be the full review of the new and last season of chilling's adventures of sabrina today i'm going to be doing a full review on this last season i'm going to be giving spoilers yes they're going to be mayor and key spoilers to this so if you hasn't ended or even watched the season i suggest you to go away and then come back because i don't want anyone to get mad because i was giving spoilers because this is the warning and it's going to be on the description down below the warning okay so that being said let's get started so i'm going to be telling you a little bit well, what is happening of the season my thoughts about it and last i'm going to be giving the score of this season and then i'm going to be talking a little bit about the whole series how i feel about it so the first things first this one is the last one it was announced on july 8th that netflix canceled the show i was truly truly sad about this because children's adventure sabrina became one of my favorites originals and for me in overall all like witches and all that type of stuff so for me this series was like my thing i truly loved it sabrina i have rewatched it a few times already because i can't help it i loved it and i watched the original too so i was even more excited about this new version now this season is focused on the eldritch terrors that this is a term that is widely associated with the monsters created by horror author H.P. Lovecraft and this is referring to a type of creature that defies human understanding basically every episode focuses on one on them having to fight against them and realizing that what is coming is even bigger and even darker because if you remember on the end of the last season Blackwood was with a huge egg that we didn't know what he was doing on the lake he basically brought to the human world the Eldritch Stirs because he wants to be the king of the world. He wants to rule everything and in order to do that, he started using them. On the first episode, we have the dark and they have to fight against the absolute dark, which can lead to despair and simply death and obviously when you think about that okay yeah i don't want to be left in the dark anymore the second one is the uninvited basically he is a homeless man that when he knocks to your door you're supposed to let him in because if you don't he is going to feel neglected and he will kill you and literally take your heart out this is because he felt neglected all his life so this is his way of revenge if you want to call it that way the third one it's the weird now this one actually needs to get inside another body and he actually gets inside sabrina and it's kind of creepy but brutal at the same time when she takes them out because it's like a brain with an octopus weird but i loved it the fourth one is the perverse now this one gives like an alternate life and world and you see in this episode the alternate life that blackwood wants to have he wants to become the emperor of the world the baxter high school it's called the blackwood high school and sabrina doesn't have any spellman related family and witches are killed and they're seen as evil and they basically all just acting like hitler and basically they say like hail blackwood and things like that and it's kind of i don't know the end of the world's coming and a little bit cliche in my opinion but it was it wasn't really actually well for me and it wasn't a really bad episode for me they were all good because they were all in their essence of the terror so each one was like a mini series but for me 
it wasn't one that i could say oh no that was a, a bad one the fifth one is the cosmic now this one is like a representation of the ending of everything he could take away hell the living world the eternal he's like the meteor to the dinosaurs both for the world of sabrina we don't have like a physical figure but it's present on most of the episode and it's mentioned also because by the third episode harvey has a dream where he draws every single one so ambrose is able to have like an idea of which terror is coming next the sixth one is the return that it's personified by lazarus and this is like a zombie because he represents bringing back from the death but in a way that chaos have never ever seen it now the seventh one is the endless now this puts everyone on the endless self-explanatory routine that this is when the series become like the sitcom the sabrina the teen witch and this is when we have the participation of the originals aunt hilda and zelda um this is not an actual spoiler because the actual pages of sabrina put it on about a week ago that they were coming and doing a cameo um for me it was really fun that basically at the end of the series they finally give like an homage to the sabrina team which because i remember a lot of people when this chilling adventure sabrina was announced many people were like but it's going to be like the original Solomon is going to talk and things like that but we know that this is one is more dark but for me the fact that they did this it was cute it was even cute for me like it was like oh my god even though that i knew it i was so pumped and so excited by seeing that honestly for me it was super fun and the last one and this is the worst of all is the void this one comes over all of them and it's a consuming horror this boy represents the absence of life and it's becoming the sabrina's worst and most difficult enemy she ever faced off and these are basically every single one of the eldritch terrors but i know that a question everyone has made is with who and sabrina well i will tell you sabrina finally ends with Nick, I will let you sink there. I was hoping for her to end with Nick. And I will tell you why. We have in first season, we have Sabrina Harvey, just like the original one and their endgame and their soulmates and whatever. And suddenly they broke up. And then on the second season, we have Nick that although he was not the ideal partner when they got first introduced then when we see the actual interaction with them we see the chemistry many people including myself wanted that nick and sabrina end together and we know that on the third season they broke up since he wasn't feeling like they should be together anymore and he was mad at her even though he sacrificed and she didn't ask him for have he, her dad inside so basically it was a lot of hate for nick and we also have caliban and by the season everyone was asking she was going to be ending with harvey nick or caliban well if you remember on the third season we have two sabrinas we have sabrina spellman and sabrina morningstar well sabrina morningstar she fell in love with caliban because they passed a lot of time together in hell and they got married but sabrina spellman at the beginning of the season she starts to feel alone because her friends are all in couples but for i'm not going to deny that for a while i thought well maybe she ain't single because maybe she doesn't really need a, a partner at all and maybe they wanted to give it a more a feminist approach and she doesn't need a partner they could have done that but we see from the very beginning that nick it's trying to make a comeback although we kind of have hints that he's back with prudence but they're not and finally they got back together and i was so happy for this but the happiness didn't last long 
Right now, I'm going to be talking about the actual ending of the series. Now, by the end, when Sabrina has to face the void, she basically sacrificed herself for the coven. And by sacrifice, I mean that she gave her life for the coven. And I'm not going to cry because that made me sad. It was a really sad scene because Nick was like, Sabrina, we did it. You saved everyone. And she's on the table with Prudence and with Agatha and her aunts. And we see her her dead body on it. We are, she's covered in blood. And we see his face. And he's heartbroken. I am heartbroken. Why are you even crying? I don't know. I don't know why I'm crying. Okay, let's let's move on. And we have her funeral. We have oh, Sabrina Spillman and Sabrina Morningstar. And we have Aunt Hilda and Zelda. They made a statue of Sabrina on the Academy. And Hilda got married at the beginning of the season. And she got moved out. But she decides to return and starts living with Zelda again and her husband. And Nick, it's really her I, I'm going I'm so so sad and pissed at the same time and basically the last scene that we have of the series is Prudence finally killing Blackwood I know that for her that must has felt so good finally being able to kill her dad and we have Sabrina on the other world and she is everything is white and like peaceful and Nick comes in and basically this is their way to see each other him having his way to visit her on the other life and for me that was even more heartbroken I was like oh. my heart did this my heart was so crushed they did this and this and I can you I just finished the season like 15 minutes ago and I'm still kind of shocked and I'm having emotions all over the place. But for me, it was unfair. I honestly thought that somebody else was going to die because when things are coming to an end, obviously some characters will always die. We can get away with everyone's life. But I always thought there was either going to be Prudence or maybe Lilith. Or maybe even Hilda or Zelda or even Ambrose. But I never actually thought that was going to be Sabrina, the one who was going to do the actual sacrifice. So basically Sabrina and Nick got together for a while. Now she's dead but he got to visit her another thing that got me a little bit mad is the fact that ross she finally discovers that she is actually a witch her grandmother lied to her and she's actually a very powerful witch and harvey gets mad with her and la that makes me like think like what is harvey's problem like you're supposed to support her i mean she's not going to do any harm to you why you have to be so upset about the fact that she's a witch when you don't hesitate to help sabrina when she's a witch although you broke up with her with that well and her dad st and the dad stuff and the brother but i think that i'm kind of making myself clear like they didn't for me it wasn't necessary the fact that he got mad with ross because she was now a witch and in overall if i have to give it a score i'm going to give it a four over five because for me although i'm kind of pissed at the actual ending the last five minutes i didn't like them i'm going to toss them away i don't i don't want to hear i don't want to see them again in overall the season it wasn't that bad and i was kind of expecting something like this because when it was announced that the show was canceled the writer of the show actually tweeted that he had already planned another season that it was going to be the actual ending so they had to work with just eight episodes to give a conclusion to everything and they were too many characters way too many plots and obviously not everything was going to fit right and there were also rumors that hbo was going to be doing the last season 
or that the actual ending was going to be on the comics and not on Netflix. But for this, we can actually see that they're not planning to do anything on that, and this is the actual ending. I was kind of hoping that this wasn't the ending and that they were doing like they would did with Lucifer, that the CW got it first and now it's part of Netflix, so that another producer was going to be ending. Because in a way, I think that they could give more space to actually give a conclusion and maybe Sabrina would still be alive. But at the same time, I think that this ending was right in the way of the villain. Because for me, the Eldritch Terrors are the best villains they could ever got. Because we already got Lucifer. What else can you get? And Blackwood was kind of a secondary character at the end. He wasn't the main villain like at the beginning. So for me, these were strong villains that Sabrina had to face. So they did the right choice there. But the fact that she had to die and sacrifice herself, maybe that wasn't that necessary. But that's just my opinion. Maybe some people believe that she had to die because that was her path. But for me, I think that they could have done better. Sabrina deserved it a little bit better than what she got. In overall, I fell in love with Chimus and Bichu and Sabrina since the first season. I watched every single season once it came out. I did Merton's. I rewatched it. Last night, I was watching it right when I got off of work. I was ending it because I was really tired. And in overall, this is a series that I will always remember. I will always rewatch. I will always love. It's not like Game of Thrones that we have mixed feelings and we don't talk about that. But in overall, for me, Chilling's Adventure of Sabrina, it's a really good show that I think that if you like these sort of things, you should give it a chance because I know some people that they didn't because it wasn't like the original. But I truly believe that if you like spooky things, horror, things like that, it's a little bit cheesy, but you should definitely give it a chance. For me, this season is a 4 over 5, and in general, for me, the series is a 4 over 5, because it's not excellent, but it's not as bad as people maybe think that it is, or they make it to see, because I know some people are really harsh and really hard to get happy with what happens on series, but I am trying my best to not be the type of a person i want to enjoy things and not just be like no this is bad because i say it and i don't want to watch it so and this is the review i don't want to give way too many details yes i gave major spoilers but i don't want to give you all the season because what was going to be the point of you watching it if i just told you the whole season and, and i could be here talking about like an hour actually i don't know how much time i have already been talking but this is my review do you agree with me do you disagree let me know in the comments your opinion did you like the ending do you feel like me do you want it her with nick or maybe with harvey just let me know your opinion in the comments and thank you so much for watching it and being here if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up share it with your friends and i'm going to be seeing you guys next week as always every single friday and let's have a very good new year Bye.